I am going to discuss on the topic biology of butterfly fish. Butterfly fish belong to order Parsifalmis and family Ketodontidae. The butterfly fish are the group of conspicuous marine tropical fish and they are found mostly in Atlantic, Indian and Pacific reefs. They are bright colored, have a variety of the color that like black, silver, yellow, white and orange. Depending on the species, butterfly fishes ranges from 9 to 30 centimeter in length and they exhibit unique defensive uh, strategies. They are trying to a mating partner throughout the lifetime. They are difficult to breed. Their lifespan range from 6 to 12 years approximately. Head not depressed, without spine and bony ridges. Pectoral fins, neither long nor reaching up to the caudal fin. The dorsal spine, number nine, dorsal fin rays, number 28 to 30, whereas the anal fin spines, number three, and the anal soft rays, number 19 to 21. And these beautiful fins, that many people know due to their butterfly-like appearance are currently in danger of extinction. Butterfly fish exhibit a unique and interesting behavioral trait while escaping from their predators. They hide themselves in crevices located in the corals in order to escape being detected by its predator. The predators include shark, eels, snappers, there are over 100 known species of butterfly fish, and they often cluster together and live in a large groups that the habitat is known as school. Butterfly fish generally benthic feeder. Many butterfly fishes eat small invertebrates, sponges, or polyketones. Some feeds on zooplankton, and others exist exclusively on coral polyps. Another feeding method is scraping the surface of the living coral to obtain algae, attach invertebrates and mucus from the coral. Some are herbivorous, grazing on filamentous algae, covering coral reefs, and a few eat sea grasses and algae on the reef flats. Butterfly fishes have long snouts with the degree of elongation depending on the species and the type of food for the consumes. For severe, they have extremely long jaws that can grab invertebrates from narrow crevices. But as the ketodon, they have short jaws for nipping up live coral polyps. The jaws of some butterfly fishes can measure more than 25% of their body length. The butterfly fish are most closely related to the marine angel fish which is similar in color, but the marine angel fish is often much larger in size in comparison to butterfly fish. Butterfly fish can be distinguished from the angel fish by the dark spot on their bodies, dark bands around their eyes. And the fact that the mouth of the butterfly fish is more pointed in comparison to angel fish. Different types of butterfly fish, such as four-eyed butterfly fish, Sunburst butterfly fish, long nose butterfly fish, raccoon butterfly fish, teardrop butterfly fish, bayonet butterfly fish, Philippine butterfly fish, saddleback butterfly fish. They exist. So, first one, four eyed butterfly fish, the extremely attractive fish, Aquarius, are attracted to its uh, bright color and the uh, elegance they saw while the swimming. Live in the depths of the ocean, they are usually 70 meter away, but specimens living at a depth of 180 meter have been caught. It's a really difficult to catch due to the depth where it lives. So it has a high cost. It has a fairly triangular shape with a strong yellow, black, and orange marking. These pieces can be kept alive for several years, having the documented record of 12 years also. Next category, sunburst butterfly fish, most resistant and cheap 
which can be recommended for beginners. Belongs to one of the smallest of the families, seldom reaches more than 12 centimeter in the aquarium. Body is oval shaped with attractive yellowish brown color, one or two white, white bands on the sides and a dark black vertical stripe that crosses the face. This band has a metallic blue tone just above the eyes in adult specimens. Next type, long nose butterfly fish. It has a very bright yellow colored body, highlighted with a black mask and an eye or pointed on the tail. On the basis of elongated snout that reaches up to 22 centimeter, it distinguishes from other butterfly fish. It has strong jaw, which are very useful for hunting worms and shrimp that are hidden among the cracks of the coral. This fish feeds on coral polyps, worms, shrimp, echinoderms, and sea urchin, among other things. Next type, raccoon butterfly fish. This fish can be recognized very easily by its mask face that makes it look a lot like the common raccoon. It's a very suitable for night hunting activities, so it only remains hidden during daylight hours while at night it goes out to get their food. Has large eyes that very possibly mutated because of its lifestyle. Has a golden color with a brown background highlighted with black bars. The black bar in the eyes backed by the white band creates a mask by which it bears its name. They feed on tentacles of worms, polychaetes, sea urchin legs, animals, shrimp, crabs, fig, eggs, and other things also. Next type, teardrop butterfly fish has strong jaw with which it can eat almost anything. Has very attractive color with a bold pattern that is easily recognized since it has a white body with bright yellow along its entire back and on the dorsal and anal fin. These fins are noticeable with a black vertical band that runs along the back edge and a black one that crosses the eye. The most distinctive features of this fins tearing eye spot on the upper part of the body. This is very resistant fish, capable of adapting easily to life in captivity, making it a very good option for beginner friends. Next time, Bennett butterfly fish, one of the most difficult butterfly fish to keep in captivity condition. The coral is part of their primary diet and this is extremely ex expensive. This species is very difficult to feed. This fact along with its a poor adaptability to aquaria make this fish an inappropriate species for fish tanks since the species needs many rocky breeding places and enough open areas to be able to swim free. Next type, Philippine butterfly fish. It is a solitary and shy fish that requires a lot of space but also has an aggressive attitude. It's a completely white to the front and has a pale bluish gray face with a dark vertical black band that passes its eyes. The rest of the body has slightly darker tone with thin vertical black stripes and has a tail fin, has a white band near the base being the rest black. It only measures 16 centimeter, but it has a distinguished beauty by which it's easily recognized. Feeds on coral, coral and other types of fish that live on the reef. And another type, saddleback butterfly fish. This is a very beautiful fish with an unmistakable shape and color, the favorite for most divers and aquarists. Easiest butterfly fish to keep in fish bowl, although some care is required for its maintenance. It's a body shape like a laterally compressed disc and a more pronounced snout than most species, which gives a more ornamental appearance. It can reach 
up to 30 centimeter long, has a yellowish gray body, add on with a large black area at the back, which is defined by a white white band. It can have several wavy blue lines on the sides and strong red markings. However, the most characteristic feature of this piece is extension of the long pennant-like filaments, which flows from dorsal fin in the adults. And how do you differ male and female butterfly fishes? Butterfly fishes are in general sexually monomorphic. Although occasionally males have been found to be larger in comparison to female. Females tend to have rounded abdomen. Males have a slit at the tip, whereas females have a rounded holes where the eggs are laid. Males are often patrolling in search of females, whereas the females spend a lot of time for searching plants on which to lay their eggs. These are the reference. The reference books are Ornamental Fishkeeping by Swain et al. Concept of Aquarium Fishkeeping, S. Saha, Home Aquarium and Ornamental Fish Culture, Joyce et al. And this is the website. With the help of these books and website, I have prepared my lecture. Thank you, everyone.